another good video brother Christopher Osio you know I just wanted to add something uh, okay that's like everyone you know you get people where they want to blame God they want to blame God for everything you know well why does God allow this and that well man has done has done all this as these people say this you know all the evil in the world man it's man's choice man's rebellion man did that not God God gives us a choice and we 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 choose it we make the choices okay now you know that's like diseases in the world no you know basically because of man's bad behavior bad choices they have made and you got all this these diseases and stuff that goes rampant and that's because of man not God man man's poor choices you know uh, but you know you there you go you're talking to people who's already unhappy about anything so usually no matter what you say, one way or the other, they're going to find something to complain about or find something to argue with what you say, whether what you say is logical or illogical, they're going to find something to argue with you about. They're going to disagree with you even though they themselves may know you're right on something, they will still want to argue with I've seen that on YouTube as well as yourself and a lot of you others. Uh, have seen it and even not just on YouTube maybe your neighbor or, or someone you ran into I, I certainly have in my life you know time I've seen them okay homosexuality all right that is a choice you're not born with that well the doctors well you know it's an amazing thing again there you go uh, you know people are subjected to many things people make their own choices and so in their uh, sometimes they they hear something or some that someone else says and they'll use what that person says and compare it to themselves and say that must be me situations of, of people again their choices and everything you know uh, with whatever I mean what people decide to do will affect another in other words that's where I'm getting at what what someone decides to do will affect another person's decision okay I mean just I'm just given just for an instance just for example okay you take a married couple well, they have some little children. Let's say, um, okay, for instance, instance, say they have little Johnny. Okay, and little Johnny's still just a baby. Well, they get a divorce and they go off, and you know, the, and the mother is with the child, with little Johnny. Okay. Now, let's say his mama. Uh, didn't have no brothers her dad has deceased uh, and, and just she just has her mother maybe just some aunts and and her you know she has a lot of her female friends okay now if you'll take the way that this child is raised in that instance you know well naturally he's gonna without a father figure uh, for, and I'm just given this for an instance it's they can uh, be affected in a, in, a, in a way that they will start acting feminine because they're around uh, the feminine you know what I'm saying so little Johnny will start taking this you know and when he starts going to school and stuff and then he starts hearing about homosexuality and stuff you know and the next thing you know someone talks about born that way or here's a, oh I must be born this way see God don't 
you're not born, a person's not born homosexual. And, but people will take it that way. And, and, and if, and you can take five, ten doctors to diagnose something. And whatever that diagnosis is, all right, let's say you might have one or two who might agree, but the rest is going to disagree. So multiply that by thousands and millions of doctors. They're all going to disagree. And it's amazing how, how they'll grab, someone will grab on the one thing, it's because it's, it's like, this is what I want to hear. This is the explanation I can accept, so this is, must be it. Let's grab it. Well, homosexuality is never... Uh, God, the, I mean, you're not born... A person's not born homosexual. It's by choice, and it's also by other people's choices. Their behaviors, uh, you know, surroundings and things, the way a person's raised, etc., 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 even those who might be raised in a good background and where they wasn't subjected to that, but through peers, uh, things that they see through the media. Again, this means that you're being affected by surroundings. This has nothing to do with God. You make your choice. No one else didn't twist you. No one didn't twist it. It's just we all make poor and bad choices, period. We make our own choices and we can't blame God for it. You know, so, you know, that's like with the tobacco or even alcohol, you know. You're not, you know, you, know, you wasn't born with an alcohol a, a bottle of whiskey in your mouth. You know, and then, of course, you got uh, some, you know, who's alcoholic. My daddy was an alcoholic. Well, yeah, maybe so, but he really didn't make you an alcoholic. That nature thing inside of you, you know, uh, whatever, frustration, anger, you know, you just seen him do it. You go and do it. Uh, you know, it's all kinds of things, excuses and things that we can use to make ourselves feel good. Uh, so we, you know, it's it's just that way. We can't seem like we can't face the facts. It's not them; it's us. We make our own choices. Same way, you know, with the cigarettes. I mean, nobody didn't make you smoke a cigarette. You chose to do it your own self. You know, so I mean, as I mean, you know, no one didn't cho didn't make you cuss and have a filthy mouth. That's something you chose your own self. Yeah, and you start getting bad habits, and uh, you it's easy, you want to blame somebody, no matter who it is, whether it's homosexuality, drugs, drinking, you know, cussing, hating, killing, whatever, you know. I mean, people, you know, want to blame God for everything and cannot take the responsibility for themselves. There was a lot of things I did in my life. And uh, back when I was doing them, I'd make excuses and get mad at somebody for pointing those things out. Because I had explanations already, you know, and, and part of my mind already knew that it was wrong, but I didn't want to accept that. You know, I just needed an excuse and I'd grab it and I didn't want no one to tell me any different. I was headstrong. I was like a mule. <laughs> I was stupid, I was. You know, I took some stupid pills, and boy, was I stupid. <laughs> but then after a while, though, I, I ended up finally wising up, and I'm glad before it was too late. Hey, good video. God bless you. Shalom. Ha-ho.